Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. The Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition is the premier organization on the continuation of Gullah Geechee culture and advocates for the rights of all Gullah Geechee people around the world. Joining us today, Queen Quet, to tell us about this year's Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week. Welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you, thank you for having me. So glad if we're there back here. So we're so glad to have you back. So when did the Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week begin? It actually began four years ago, and it started off in the city of Charleston, and has expanded since to our county, then the entire coast of South Carolina last year, and this year throughout the entire Gullah Geechee Nation from North Carolina all the way to Florida. And that's down in the Jacksonville area? Yes, right? actually Nassau County gave proclamation last week, and so Jacksonville is just south of there in Duval County, so yes, all the way through. So we have a proclamation here. Tell us yes. a little bit about that. This one is actually the proclamation from the island of Hilton Head. Okay. So they just presented theirs last week also. And this is the third year that the island of Hilton Head has been participating in Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week. And um, so Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week, where, um, what all is part of the week? Well, this year, we've had a wonderful slate of events. We started off last Saturday at Skeeter Beach, which is up in Charleston County. Last night, we had the Beaufort County Council meeting, proclamation, and dedication. Tonight, we're in Colleton County. We're going to be at the Colleton County Museum and Farmer's Market at 7. And then on Thursday evening this week, we'll be at MJ's Soul Food on St. Helena Island. That is a Gullah Geechee-owned business. Right. And so at 6 o'clock, we're going to have crafts and music and Gullah Geechee presentations and everything is going to be a big party for everybody who's a Beaufort County to come out to. And then on Friday we're doing the Gullah Root Experience Tour that we do of St. Helena Island and also people will be going to Savannah today, Clean Journeys Tour. And then on Saturday we'll culminate everything at Riceboro, Georgia at a place called Geechee Kunda with our Gullah Geechee Nation International Music and Movement Festival. So let's talk a little bit about the Music, music and Movement Festival. It's actually held Oh, every year we have a different venue. Okay. On even years, we're in Charleston, downtown Charleston, and we're at the Charleston Maritime Center, right next to Arrival Square where we're building the International African American Museum. But on the odd number of years like this one, right. we moved to a different part of the Gullah Geechee Nation or the African diaspora. So that's why this year we're going into Georgia. And then the following year after, we'll probably be going back down to Florida. So we like to move around or even take it out of the country. We've gone to the Bahamas and other places in the past to connect people to our traditions. And what is the theme for this year? This year the theme is it time for shout. So I want to chill I know you're yelling this show. Like I this show, yo. See we did in the chair so we can't really show them how for shout that well. But that's how we get going. So this year the theme is it time for shout. And it truly is a shouting time for us because there's been so many blessings with all these proclamations and so many people participating. And how can people learn more ac accurate information about the Gullah Geechee culture, as well as, I guess, your mission? Yes, well, if they go to GullahGeecheeNation.com, they can find all kinds of links there. They give you historical background, as well as relevant things of today, events, restaurants, businesses that are all native Gullah Geechee owned and operated. And also, if they follow us, they can follow us or at Gullah Geechee Nation on Facebook. We post daily, as well as at Gullah Geechee on Twitter and Instagram, so that they can get things even from the Gullah Geechee al Gulan archive. And so we like people to come to the living story to get who we be from we. And how do you feel this, uh, this week and the participation in this week, what do you think it does for the, um, the growth of the Gullah Geechee Nation. It helps tremendously with the growth of the Gullah Geechee Nation because we have an opportunity for people who want to really know who we are and what our story is to come to us and hear it directly from those who live the culture and tradition so they can go home and to different places and share it and even the classrooms and share it. It also helps economically because it brings people to places and spaces that are Gullah Geechee owned and operated and helps people to contribute financially. That way we can sustain these businesses, sustain the land ownership, and sustain the tradition. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and thank, thank you for thank joining you. us today. Thank you, thank you. So we hope you want to come out and join me and shout a little while for truth. Shout, All right. Shout for truth. All right, there we go. <laughs> and we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.